Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm with what? Jennifer Decker. Decker. And we were working for what? Herald Republican. Herald Republican. This is a newspaper where? Engle, Indiana. Talk louder. Engle, Indiana. I'm very loud. Okay, so what's your job there? I'm a general reporter. Okay, Jennifer, it's a long story, but we went to the library, gave him a book. And then the library person called up the reporter, and the reporter called up me, so I'm on an interview. But I thought I would interview her. Okay. And how long have you been a reporter? Um, let's see. I came from Michigan from being unemployed. Yeah, Michigan. This is swampy area. We're in the swampy yes, area. Yes, I know. Actually, um, probably on and off for 20 or 25 years. You've been a reporter for 20 and 25 years? I went okay. back to school much later in life. Do you have a specialty? Uh, no, journalism. No, I mean, journalism. do you like... No, gen general, I only, do everything. Only guys like me that roam around the planet, or you no, just... No, everything. Anything, anything and everything. Yes, and I never know what will uh, come up each day, which is why it's exciting, too. Is a uh, Herald... Let's say it again. Herald Republican. Herald Republican. Are they online? Yes, but you have to be um, you have to be a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber. It's like paid subscriber or yes. free? Okay, so you got to pay for that. I guess I won't, wa I won't see myself online if she has to pay. Um, and it's a Herald Republican in Angola, Indiana, mm -hmm. and you're Jennifer Decker. Mm -hmm. And are you married? No. You got any kids? No, I have a cat if that counts. Uh, what kind of cat? I mean, I sometimes... Calico, think... she's a big old baby girl, Poppy. So what's the most interesting thing you've discovered about me today? Nothing. Probably, <laughs> no, probably everything. I'm still taking it in. Um, just the fact that you are an adventurer, that you do this, um, you've done this for 16 years, obviously you like doing it, or you wouldn't be sitting here telling me about it, and the fact that you're getting ready to go to Ecuador. It's what I am. Oh, okay. Um, just your whole attitude, the fact that you're, uh, you're obviously... Very well educated. I, I believe that um, you're probably, every time you go somewhere, you probably get a, a very valuable um, education. You have quite a bit of world knowledge, obviously, and probably more so than anyone I know. Very good at geography. <laughs> <laughs> My geography is definitely way up there. <laughs> I mean, you, you've mentioned some of the, the countries. I do not know off the top of my head, I, I cannot picture them. As much as I love, I've always loved geography, but I don't know, it would seem to me that it would be, your job is more exciting than mine. Well, I mean, I, I don't, well, I mean, you, you get to, Play you, my you camera wander. <laughs> Make them feel inhibited? No, but you wander. Each day, mine is more... Definitely, we live and die by deadlines, obviously. I think that's why it's called deadline. But, I mean, some we, we deal with some very serious things sometimes. But you, you're more, um, you're, you're very curious, as am I, or else I wouldn't go in this. Um, but, I don't know, yours, yours is a far more... Um, I'm promoting my book, Sky. This is a very oh, selfish thing. <laughs> no, but you should. I mean, it, it, you know, you're, um, that's your heart and soul, and you created it. So why didn't you get married? I've never found anyone who uh, I liked, who didn't, uh, I you know, well, All you got to do, do is sell your car, sell your house, sell everything, get rid of your dog. Well, you can, some people take their dog. Well, I don't have a dog, so that would cat, be easy. Cat, and you can be the same as me. We better make this short or we're going to really get them angry at us. See, <laughs> you two people get really angry. If you see the ones that go viral, they're like one minute. It's like the attention span of Americans. One well, minute. So I take it that you are going to put this on your site. Yeah, I'll put this on YouTube. Great. <laughs> Nobody likes being... But no? is, is your column in the newspaper every day? Um, actually, no. Are you every day? A lot of times, we're daily. But it depends. I never know. Um, like when I write something, I never quite know when it's going to be in the paper, and some people think I'm being rude like that. But when I go to write this story on you, I really don't know when it's going to be in. I'm going to give one request. Mm -hmm. I do these most of the time for my mother. Mm -hmm. She loves to see me in the newspaper. So please, 
Last time I said something to Frank Gray and I said, Americans have long noses. Please don't put something in like that. It would make me look really bad. Anything that I said that's really too politically incorrect. Oh, sure. Cheeky. I mean, you, you said a couple of things and I started writing it down and I scribbled it out. If you should, you know. Um, no, I usually have an idea. It, this isn't a controversial story. Um, just really it's about you and your adventures and traveling, the fact that you're a writer and blogger, you're passing through, you're maybe a professional hobo, except I would think of you more as a professional adventurer myself, but um, you know, that that's what that's how you refer to I'm yourself. I'm the calmest type A personality you ever seen on the planet. <laughs> okay. This is okay. Jennifer. It's uh, April 2014. We're in uh, the Cahoots restaurant in Angola. Cahoots and Coffee Cafe. Cahoots Coffee, Coffee Cafe. Cafe. Ooh. And we're in Cahoots. Okay, thank you very much. Hobo Traveler.